Hey guys, in today's tutorial we're going to remove some unwanted objects from the photo. I'm going to use Affinity Photo version 2, but the process is exactly the same in version 1 as well. Alright, so here we are. As you can see, I got this picture of some balloons and also there's a white text in it. Alright, so that's the part of this image. We're going to use several different techniques to get rid of those unwanted stuff. Let's say we want a clear picture. We took this picture by mistake. We don't want any balloons on it. We just want the landscape. All right. So how can we do that? The first thing I recommend to do is to zoom in a bit so we can have a better look into those details. I like to use shortcut command or control plus. So zoom in a bit, all right. And now if you hold spacebar, you can navigate around the document. Okay, let's remove this first balloon. I'm going to use a selection. So I will use the last selection here. It's called freehand selection tool in Affinity Photo. You may know this as lasso selection tool if you've been using Photoshop before you switch to Affinity Photo, all right. So that's our last, our freehand selection. And as the name say, we can simply click and draw a very rough selection. We don't need to be precise at all. Okay, next, if I simply want to delete this, right? If I hit delete on my keyboard, take a look. Nothing happening. Let's select the layer with the image as well. Hitting delete again. And now there's a hole in my image. That's not what I want. <laughs> Everyone will know there was something there. I just delete that stuff. Looks super ugly. So let's undo that. I will use Command Z. All right. So we actually don't want to remove stuff. We want to replace this stuff with natural looking backdrop. To do that, we will go over here to the edit panel and we will select fill. So we want to fill this area of something new. Click fill. And from here, select in painting. So there are different ways we can fill this, but we want to do in painting fill. This is called also called custom aware. All right. So the program will check what is around this selection and try to fill it with something similar. Okay. In painting, apply. And as you can see, I got very, very nice fill here. It's really hard to notice that I remove something here. Another way how we can approach this is to simply use a special brush that got very same property. So if you go all the way down to healing tools, this healing brush tool, patch tool, blemish removal tool, but it's also something called in painting brush tool. So that's kind of the same feature, but in form of the brush. So we don't need to pre-select elements. We can simply use the brush, brush over something. It will be red first. And when you release the brush, it will recalculate the in-painting. And as you can see, it's nicely removed. So that's very similar way. It depends how you prefer to work. Let's try it once more with selection. So I use selection for this little guy here. And then I go to edit, fill, and using in painting fill. And that's it. That's nice. We got good results. This is really big object, so that will be a little bit tougher. If you want to have more control on this new backdrop that will be filled in in that empty space, you can use another tool called patch tool. If you select patch tool from here, then you'll be able to draw a selection directly from this tool. You don't need to pre-select. And the trick is now we are kind of pointing with our mouse to the area of the image that we want to use as the feeling here. This is really big selection, so that's not easy, but you can point the new area and then you can click twice to reconfirm that you want to use this part of the image. And this will be kind of match with this area, not perfect. Let's undo and let's try to do the same thing. I will keep this selection, but I will use edit, fill and in painting. All 
All right, as you can see, this time it took a little bit longer because the object was much, much bigger. And in case of bigger objects like this, I think you will need to do a second selection sometimes because there may be some area that you are not happy about. So you can do a second selection and then you can repeat the process. So we can go to edit, fill, and we can fill this area again. All right. So that's how we can remove some unwanted objects. But what if there's actually unwanted text in the image? You need to get rid of the text from existing photo. How we can do that? We can use the same technique, but we don't need to depend on this roughly selection this time. Text is really easy to select because it's contrasting with the texture image, right? So let's use the magic wand to select letters. As you can see, now I'm switching between letters. I want to select them all. So let's use the add mode here. Now I can add all of the letters. All four letters are selected, but we want to expand the selection a little bit bigger than the white color, all right? So let's go to select. We got grow slash shrink option. This will give us this nice slider when we can expand the selection a little bit. All right, apply. And with this new selection, you probably know what to do already, right? So let's go to edit, fill, and select in painting fill. Apply. And that's pretty good result here. Take a look. Let's unzoom. So I will use command zero to see the whole picture. All right, and this way we remove all of the balloons and also the text. The result is pretty good. Of course, we could use the in-painting brush even more. So we could always go there, grab the in-painting brush. With small and soft brush, we can do some little adjustments here and there to make it even smoother, even better. Okay, so I think that's pretty good result for this short project. So that's how you can remove unwanted objects from your images using Affinity Photo version 2. Please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel for more Affinity tutorials and I hope I will see you in the next video. Bye!